Love Zamora back with another video. Um, I know I haven't posted in a while, but I got a good video for you guys today. So I'm gonna be installing a GMC Denali cluster in my truck. It's basically it's just got the two gauges and everything else is digital. And then this is what I have right now. It's the one with the tiny screen. And then my steering wheel only has controls on one side. And then this one has nothing. And then I'm going to be installing this other steering wheel to go with the cluster because you need the controls on the right side to use the, the cluster. Alright, so I started off by disconnecting the batteries already. So basically I just removed the ground on this side. And then I do have an audio battery, so I disconnected the ground on this one as well. So the first step is removing the airbag, which I try to do. There's these little, they're like indents on the steering wheel. You gotta poke through and then there's a spring you gotta push in. But I tried both sides already and I can't get it. Um, so I'm gonna take off this cover here, the column cover, and then I'm gonna turn the steering wheel and I should be able to get it from the back and then I'll turn it the other way and get the other one as well. So I'm gonna do that now. So to remove the column cover, you got to remove this little the lever first. You just pull it straight out and it pops off. And then this cover is just held in by like clips, so just separate it. Just be careful when you're doing it. I'll be back with you guys after I do that. So I got the cover off already. Uh, I did move the steering wheel up to remove the bottom cover. And then I moved it down to remove the top one. So I just put the little lever back in each time to be able to move it. So they're both off now. I'm gonna put in the wheel. Uh, just remember, my battery's still disconnected, but that's just so you can turn the steering wheel. So it's turned, now I'm gonna reach through the back and I should be able to push the spring out to pop the steering wheel off, to pop the airbag off, sorry. So I popped the passenger side off already. And then, let me show you guys what the wire looks like. Alright, so it's in that hole. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Let me try to zoom in. It's that wire that you can see in that hole. Basically, you gotta push it down. And then that'll let you pop the airbag off. Push it all the way down. You'll hear it click. And maybe pull on the steering wheel at the same time. And then it should come out. Here's mine, I just popped it off from both sides. Just be really careful with the airbag because, I mean, it could possibly still go off. All right, so these two little yellow plugs and the orange clips are what you're gonna take off to disconnect the airbag and pull it off. I just lifted them or pushed them up or down or whatever you wanna call it with a flathead screwdriver. Just be very careful because you don't wanna break them. Um, so you just pull them down and then you should be able to disconnect these now. All right, so to remove these from the airbag, once you lift up the little orange tab, all you gotta do is wiggle it straight out and the whole thing comes off and then this is what the airbag should look like. So we're gonna set this aside for now. So next you're gonna wanna remove this nut in the middle. It's the main and only nut holding the steering wheel. Um, I loosened mine up already, I thought it was gonna be a lot tighter but it wasn't. I used a 21 millimeter uh, socket. I forgot to tell you guys but I removed the key and I locked the steering wheel in place to be able to remove it, to remove the nut. So now I think we gotta disconnect this harness up here and then just pull these through and we should be able to wiggle the steering wheel off. Alright so I popped the steering wheel off now. Um, I did leave the nut in there and I pulled on it. I used my knees to help me from the bottom and then I pulled the top. Um, so yeah, if you don't leave the nut in there, the steering wheel could come flying at your face because there's nothing there to hold it and then I mean, you could even possibly rip off the wires. So now we'll just unscrew and it should come off real easy. Just like that. I'm gonna guide these wires through and then we'll have the steering wheel off. So I forgot to tell you, but since my steering wheel didn't have any uh, controls on this right side. We're basically going to be adding them because that's how you're going to control 
the cluster. Um, I ordered, I mean, you could run any wire, but I ordered this one because it already has the pin. So basically, we'll just have to plug it in, and then this other side we're gonna splice into the wire, but this one we'll just plug into the connector, and then we're gonna basically connect one end to the wiring for the cluster, and then the other one is gonna go to the clock spring, which is gonna make the connection from the steering wheel to the cluster. And I ordered this from Phil Gamboa. He's on Facebook. I think he has like YouTube as well. And uh, I think it's that's his page, uh, Harness Doctor. But yeah, 28 bucks. And basically, you just plug in one end, and the other end you do splice in. But it should be pretty simple. Um, so the next thing we're gonna do is remove this top cover, and then we'll go ahead and get the cluster after that. This one's just held on by clips. So you could just lift it up, just be careful when you're doing it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here it is. I popped it off. It's a total of six clips, so I did have to pull it pretty hard, but it's off now. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the cluster. I think we take this cover off. It's gonna all come off, and then I think there should be four, a total of four bolts to remove the actual cluster itself. All right guys, so I got the cover off, the one that goes over the cluster. It's three bolts, and then I did pull this cover down to be able to get the bottom out. The bottom is just two clips on each side. Pop those out and then pull it up. Um, I did have to pull the shifter back a little bit just to be able to get it out, but that was it. Um, so now we're gonna take off the actual cluster. It's a total of four screws or bolts. One, two, three on the bottom, and then four on this side. Just try not to drop them because it's pretty easy to lose them. So I also did notice that the steering column actually has like a little alignment, uh, a groove. So you can't really like put the steering wheel on crooked because I've changed out the steering wheel on my on my Civic before, and those don't have like an alignment groove. So you can put it on crooked and it'll still work. So that's why I try to lock it in straight because I didn't know that this actually had an alignment group. So you can only put it on one way. It won't go on any other way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that cluster now. All right guys, so I disconnected the cluster already. Um, it's a little tricky to get it disconnected, but basically it's got this red plug or this little tab. So this piece goes over like this, and the tab is gonna be pushed in, and then this is connected to the cluster. So what you have to do is you pull this tab, the little red tab, you unlock it, pull it out, and then this little black piece, you should be able to lift it up. I can't really do it with one hand, but. Basically, you kind of have to like squeeze it from both sides and lift it up and then it's gonna go over all the way to this side and then you should be able to just pull it out. I actually just locked this thing back together right now when I was showing you guys. And the only way to really get this black tab off is you have to pull back on it really hard and then it'll unlock and you just pull it off. So the wire I ordered did come with instructions to connect it. Um, basically, we're gonna remove the little cover on this, you have to push this little, there's a little tab holding it. I get it to focus. So in this little square, there's a tab you push in, there's another one on the other side, and it all separates, and then we'll be able to pin, to put in the pin. It goes on, so basically we're gonna count the pins on it. And it's gonna go on pin, on pin number 20. So you'll count them starting at 17, and then we're gonna pin it on 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off now, um, and then I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys. So I was able to take the take uh, the little cover off. Um, basically, it's got the little things. The little tabs holding it here in the square. 
you gotta push down. I push down on both sides and kind of pulled. I didn't want to do it too hard because I didn't want to break it. So it took me a little while, but I got it out. And then it just slides off. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna count the pins starting from the left side and then we're gonna put basically this end get the camera to focus this end here we're just gonna put it into number 20 and then I did run a wire already from down here so I'm gonna pull it out and then I'm gonna guide it up through here the wire is long enough to where I can just run it from here straight to here but then you're gonna have a bunch of extra slack and it's just gonna look bad. So I'm gonna run it from here down and I'm gonna pull it up through here and then I'll just connect it here. I'll get back to you guys after I pin it and then run the wire down through the bottom. Okay, so I got it in. Um, if you look on here, you can see numbers. So the 17 is on the very left and then 20 is on the right. So you'll just count 17, 18. In my case, 19 is the one with the wire in it, and then we put 20 next to that. So, basically on the on the wire, the pin, there should be a little arrow. Make sure the arrow is pointing towards you, and then you should be able to put it in, and you'll hear it click. Make sure you give it a pull, make sure it's in there right, which it is. Now we're going to go ahead and put, slip the cover back on. You'll hear it pop, pop in, and then... We're gonna guide the wire down and we'll pull it out through the top. All right, so I got the wire out already through here. It goes down through the bottom and it comes out. Um, so this is the wire that I used to guide it. I taped it on there so it wouldn't come loose with some electrical tape. Go ahead and take it off and then we're gonna connect it to the clock spring itself. Right, so now this green wire is gonna go to the clock spring harness which is this one down here. Um, since I have the Alpine stereo, there's another connection that connects there and then the actual original connection that goes here connects to that But here it is So if you don't have the same stereo um, Your connection is going to be down here you Push a pin in and pull it out and then here it is If you look at it like this, it should have pin number one on the left to ten on the other side Here's a diagram so you know what I'm talking about it's this harness right here all right guys so pin number two is this green wire with like a black line going down it's this one right here um, I peeled back some of the tape on here already cut it off so we're gonna strip this one and then we're gonna splice this wire in so I've got my splicers wire cutters whatever you want to call them ready to go. I'm going to peel this one and then on this one I might have to use a, a box cutter or a knife to splice it in between. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Alright guys so I got the wire on the harness spliced already. I used the box cutter. Um, basically I did a cut on this side all the way around and another cut on the other side all the way around and then one cut all the way down. Um, I just got to take it off now, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like um, Just be careful try not to cut any of the wiring Because if you do that can make the wire overheat and I mean it could even cause a fire or something So just be careful when you're doing it try not to cut any of the actual wire off just the plastic um, This other one I spliced already or I cut expose the wire It's right, so a real quick. I wanted to show you guys how I split the wire up in the middle I used a small screwdriver and just split the wires. Just be careful again uh, not to cut any off or rip them off on accident. So I'm going to guide this one through the middle and then just twist them together and then we're going to come back and solder them and we should be good to go. Okay so I soldered it together, I taped the single wire and then I taped all the wires together, uh, plugged it back in. I'm going to go ahead and put the cluster in now and the steering wheel. Once I hook everything back up, I'll get back to you guys. So it's just the same process as uh, taking it off, but backwards, obviously. Alright guys, so I finished up. 
put the airbag back in, steering wheel, and the cluster. Now I just gotta connect the battery and see if it's gonna work. All right, so I just hooked the battery up, or the batteries. Um, I'm gonna honk to see if I have power now, which I should. Okay, so we're good. Um, I'm gonna put the key in and see what it does. Okay, so the controls light up, so that means we wired everything correctly. You know, there's only one wire, but again, you can always mess that up. Both sides light up. Horn works. Okay, let me do the thing to open and then close the driver's side window. All right, so wow, it looks a lot better than the other cluster that I had on there. Um, uh, I'm not sure how to use it, but we're gonna find out right now. Okay, so I'm not sure how to get to the settings because I know you can change all this. Um, okay, so you'll go, you'll go left on the little arrows, and then it brings up like a little menu. That top one, you guys can't see it, but it says info. Um, under one, under the one under it is audio, phone, and then options. We'll go to options. Units, US, okay. Standard. Okay, so display theme. This is basically your options, and you'll go left or right to change it. So here we'll go to display theme. That's It's on standard right now. And then we have three different uh, display themes. Standard, technology, and media. Technology. I've seen this one. It looks pretty cool. So that's what that one looks like. Obviously we're still in the menu, so you have your fuel up top and then temperature on the left. And then it'll display your speed in the middle. And then let me show you guys the media. That's what this one looks like, speed in the middle and then fuel on the right, uh, temperature on the left. Personally I like the technology one, so we're going to go ahead and leave it on that one. So I forgot to tell you guys, but um, these plastics, I had painted like maybe a year ago, and then I wrapped them because I didn't really like them since the red didn't match anything. Um, I'm going to be getting my interior done soon, but I don't know if I should leave them red to match the interior or change them out to match the this little trim, basically this color trim that's on the steering wheel. Um, let me know what you guys think. Also, I forgot to tell you guys or show you guys. I did buy a quad. It's a 2013 YFZ 450R. This is it right here. Um, let me know if you guys want to see videos on that. Or when I go riding, I could get a GoPro and record videos. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. Alright, so for anybody that's wondering, um, the cluster I bought for 250 uh, the programming was another 250 because you have to get a program to your bin. The steering wheel I bought on eBay for 130 shipped, and um, the cable that I ran the wire, that one was like 28 dollars, 30 dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys links for the programming and for that wire. 
I'm not going to leave you guys links for the steering wheel and the cluster because you guys can shop around on eBay or Amazon or buy a new one. Um, there's a bunch of different prices so that way you guys can look around and buy whatever you think is best. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Uh, make sure you guys drop a comment, like, subscribe, share the video. And hopefully I'll be back with another video soon. Mucho le agradezco al viejón por sus consejos y por todo lo que me inculcó y mientras hay que...